everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is August 24th, and this morning, Samsung just pushed out the latest update that will bring you Samsung One UI 2.5. Now, right now, this one is the unlocked version of Galaxy S20. It's running on Samsung One UI 2.1, but when you head inside of your settings and you look to see if there is a software update, you'll be able to see this one here, and it's actually a quite large file. Now, the reason why is because it is bringing you a lot of new features. It's almost a gigabyte in size, so it's 991 megabytes. Now, this one will bring you that Samsung One UI 2.5. I just shot a video yesterday that'll be going up tomorrow, the 25th, going over every single thing that is brand new with Samsung One UI 2.5. So if you're curious on what is new, make sure you guys stick tuned to tomorrow's video. So this is quite a big update here. We're gonna go through this list, but there is a few things that's actually not listed on here. That's also a part of tomorrow's video. So make sure you stay tuned and watch that one. Uh, so right here, the updated Samsung DeX. So it brings you wireless DeX connection. So this way you're able to connect your phone to your TV without any cables. And you don't have to do it with just a regular monitor. And then for Wi-Fi, you actually have quite a few Wi-Fi improvements. It's letting you know when you're connected to any Wi-Fi router, it's going to let you know if it's very fast, fast, normal, or slow. It's actually pretty cool just to see if it's at least a good network to go on to. You also have the ability of requesting passwords. So the request password button will appear on the Wi-Fi password input screen. And this way you can just request the password. And instead of trying to look around and ask and people don't know what it is, uh, anybody who is connected to that Wi-Fi is able to accept the request and then it gets sent over to the phone. Uh, next up will be the always on display. You now have the ability of doing Bitmoji stickers. Uh, so it's going to be one of the clock styles. For the Samsung keyboard, there's a new feature that's been added. So in this way, you're able to search YouTube. So if I wanted to send one of my videos really quick, I don't need to go inside of YouTube first. If I'm already inside of the Samsung keyboard, I'm able to actually just search it right there inside the keyboard, which is actually pretty cool. Camera, so a huge update here. The Pro Video feature has been enhanced. So you'll be able to get that brand new Pro Video settings and everything else uh, on the Galaxy S20 series. For messages, a feature has been added that allows the user to call a person who is saved as a pre-configured SOS message contact. And also it's talking about a feature that allows the user to send SOS location sharing messages every 30 minutes for 24 hours. And it just says that, you know, device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and enhanced features. So this one's actually a big one with all of new and enhanced. Uh, this one is still part of the August 1st patch. So it's still not September 1st yet, uh, but we are now getting Samsung One UI 2.5. So let's go through, let's download this. Let's just make sure it does say Samsung, uh, you know, One UI 2.5 on it. Uh, so this is just gonna take a couple minutes. Now, as this finishes the download, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these videos, you love these latest up-to-date updates for your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So the installation is basically done. I just wanted to show you this new cool startup screen of the optimizing apps. If you guys remember what it used to look like, it used to just kind of say optimizing apps on the top or something that was just completely different. Uh, but again, as you do go to install and and download this entire update. Make sure you give this quite a bit of time on a good, reliable Wi-Fi network. It did actually take a little bit longer than normal for this update, but it is quite large. So make sure you have at least 20 to 30, maybe 40 minutes just to make sure everything is downloaded, installed, and working properly before you go off with your day. And there we go, guys. The download and install is all done and complete. You can see our software information does say that we are running on Samsung One UI 2.5. A few of the things that are brand new, you'll also notice that your edge panel is going to look just a little bit different. Uh, it's not going to be transparent in the background. It's kind of this dark, long, rectangle look. When you go inside the camera, you can head over inside of your more, and you'll also notice that there should be a little orange little dot letting you know that your pro video has been updated. So this way you can see the histogram as well as your audio settings. Uh, if we move on back over on the top left hand side in the normal camera settings, if you scroll down, you'll notice the option for pro video size. So originally this was not there. So it gives you the ability of changing your resolution and the video size and everything else. Uh, a couple other things that was added in, if we go inside of our Samsung keyboard and you move over inside of this more option, you're gonna notice something new, which is the YouTube tab. It's a way that you're able to go directly into a YouTube video and share it from your keyboard without going inside of the application. Now there's also 
quite a few more things that are pretty new. You also have or should be getting a new Samsung Galaxy Notes. You'll also notice that inside of the Wi-Fi, you're able to send off and request the password of your Wi-Fi. Also too, when you look for the Find My Mobile, there's the ability of doing it offline where there's no connection. So there's a lot of really cool things that's been added in. Again, give this thing an update, give it some time, and then tomorrow morning, I'll be uploading the video talking about everything that's new with Samsung One UI 2.5. And you know what? Let's also look on the very top inside of the quick settings, and there you go. You can see wireless DeX, or at least DeX has been updated. So you have the new icon and logo. If for some reason, don't see this make sure you go inside of those three little dots go to button order and look on the top and see if there's anything inside of there that you can actually drag and drop on down and again if you guys like this video please give this thing a huge thumbs up did you also know that if you hit the thumbs up the thumb turns blue also don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later